When the Nintendo Switch launched, there was a serious stigma when it came to third-party docks. People were buying them up, testing them out, and they were frying their Switches on them. So really, the third-party dock kind of went the way of the Dodo Bird for a while. But over the last, you know, you, I would say year or so, we're starting to actually see some good quality third-party docks come out that, well, aren't frying your Switch. I started looking at some because, in all reality, I wanted something that was small and easy to move around so that way I can leave my Nintendo-branded dock in the family room and have a smaller one for either the living room or the bedroom, you know, wherever I may want to play the Switch on a TV. So I went on Amazon and I found the highest rated, highest reviewed third-party dock, and what I ended up with was the Ucore Switch dock. Now, at the time of filming this, if you head over to Amazon's website, you'll see the dock itself is only 25 bucks with Prime shipping. It's got four stars, 61% of it being five stars. And of course, there are going to be some bad reviews, but based on all the positive reviews between the five and the four stars, they all seem legitimate. So I went ahead and ordered it just to, just to take a look and see how it functions. Keep in mind, this dock does not come with a power source, so you are going to have to use either a Nintendo's branded USB-C adapter or another high-end, high-quality, high-powered USB-C power adapter, which I actually have both of, so we're going to test both of those today. So let's go ahead, get this thing opened up, check out the build quality, check to see its compatibility with the Switch and the Switch inside a case, and let's go ahead and hook this up and see how it works for us. So here we have the Ucore Mini Switch Dock. You get a pretty good idea of what this has to feature just by looking at the picture on the box. HDMI, USB 3.0, and Type-C, which I'm going to assume is for the power, and then A would be to charge a device, like a controller. So let's go ahead and get this thing opened, and uh, we'll take a look at the device itself. It is spring-loaded. Kind of noisy. I'm not sure if you can hear that or not. There, you can hear it. It gets a little stuck, but it doesn't get stuck enough to be an issue, though. So once again, on the side there, you have your HDMI, your USB-A 3.0, USB-C for power, and on the other side, there are two more USB ports, which I'm assuming are not 3.0. Those would be more just for power delivery. So the one thing that leaves me curious is actually on the back here, there's a little button. I'm not sure what that button's for, but... I'll look in the instructions and see what it says. So of course these are Chinese instructions, so we can expect the, the English to be really bad. So they call it the convert button. What does it convert? Oh, I'm sorry. It says the convert button. The convert button. What? Oh man, these, these are phenomenal. So if I, from my understanding here, it basically allows you to go from charging to video out. So if you want to use it like a charging dock and play in handheld mode, like your Joy-Cons or a Pro Controller, that's what that option is for there. So before we go ahead and, I guess, hook it up and see how it functions, let's just test it out with a, with a Switch. So what I'm already noticing is when you put it into the dock, unless you line up perfectly going down, you kind of have to swipe it back and forth. You kind of get that feel for it catching so once you find that spot, I guess you just push it down. I guess it's working. I guess the next option I want to try is how, how does it function in a case? Because I do like to use a grip case when I'm using this guy here. That actually found the spot a little bit quicker. So it's in, but I don't know if it's triggering yet because we haven't given it power. So the next step is let's get this thing powered on and see what power sources we need to use with it. Because we have two options here. I still haven't even opened up the AC adapter for my Switch Lite. So we're gonna test with this, but we're also gonna test with another option, and that is one of my high wattage USB-C fast chargers. I keep one of these by, uh, by my nightstand, two USB-C in, I use one USB-C for the Switch, and I have another USB-C that is USB-C to Lightning, which fast charges my iPhone. So these are great, these are on Amazon, they're really inexpensive, and I think this is a really good option just to have, period, to charge your devices. So what we'll do is we're first going to test it out with the Nintendo branded AC adapter. Let me go ahead and get these plugged in. Give me just a moment. So we'll start with the Nintendo brand one for obvious reasons because hey you should always use a Nintendo brand AC adapter with your Switch. So now that's plugged in I guess we can go ahead and check to see if it starts charging it in the case which it does. I'll turn it this way and there you can see that it definitely is charging. So we know it works in a case, which is awesome, but I'm gonna remove the case because most people don't use cases. So let's see now, plugging in directly. Once again, you gotta find that spot. 
It doesn't go in as easily. Oh, there we go. It started charging perfectly. Cool. So we know that it works charging it. Let's go ahead and test with my third party USB C charger. Go and plug that bad boy in there. And once again, we're charging. We're good. That looks awesome. So let's switch back to the Nintendo and let's test the video output on this. So what I did notice is that when you do push the button on the back, it does switch from video on the switch charging to video through the dock. As we can see, it's putting out video, which is great. We know this works. So I guess the next step would be to see if this dock will also charge a Switch Pro controller. So we're gonna go ahead and plug in a USB-C cable to the side of the dock. Plug it in the controller and we're charging. So we do know for sure that this dock will charge the switch, will output video, and charge your pro controller. If you guys haven't played this uh, 3D All-Stars, it's trash. The only game that actually plays well between the three of them is Sunshine. So I basically spent $60 on a copy of Sunshine, which I already owned on a GameCube. So now that we know that this works in this setup here, let's go ahead and test this out with the third party USB-C charger and see if we get all the same functionality from it. Go ahead and unplug it. Switched over to dock mode. Okay, plugging in now. It's charging the controller, as we can see there, and it's outputting video. So what this means is that this dock will work with any high-powered USB-C charger, which is fantastic, especially if you're trying to find yourself a nice little budget here. Seeing as this dock only costs half the price of the Nintendo one, it's starting to make sense which direction you should go if you're looking for a second dock. So let's play Mario for a moment here, make sure there's no issues with like frame rate. I imagine that would be the only thing that, I'm, I'm stuck. I imagine frame rate would be the only real issue that you would see with an underpowered dock, since the dock does help the game perform better. Oh, so far so good. So this will definitely work and serve the purpose that I wanted it for. So there we go, guys. That is the mini portable dock by Ucore. I hope I'm saying their name right. It could just be UK or I don't know. Most of these Chinese brands, it's all up for interpretation with their name anyways. But what's important here is that I solved my problem. A small, cheap dock option to move my switch from room to room without actually having to move a lot of hardware. This is super ideal. And in fact, for my bedroom, I can put this thing on my nightstand, hook it up to my USB-C adapter and just run a 12 foot HDMI cable over the TV on the wall. And I'm set. I will leave links in the description below for this dock along with the USB-C fast charger that I do use. So that way you guys can put together a similar package to know that you're getting the same functionality that I'm getting with it. Although we didn't test the other side with the standard USB charging ports, I, I'm going to assume that they function in all reality. I don't need three USB ports on a portable dock. I'm not really sure who would on a portable dock. It makes more sense for the full size dock. So what we do know is that the USB-C does work to charge it and power it enough to put out to the TV and the USB 3.0 port does charge your Nintendo Switch Pro controller. So if you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. I really would appreciate that. If you want to see your name below here, head over to Patreon. Just $5 a month will get you that producer credit and credits in the video right here below me. Also, go ahead and follow me on social media. You'll find all those links in the description below, including a link to the Discord, which is a great place to be. I promise you that. I can't forget to mention over here on this side, you will see all of my t-shirt designs. I made them myself. You would not only be supporting the channel, you would be supporting my own creativity, which is awesome, right? We love supporting our fellow artists. But in all seriousness, thank you guys again for watching. Until next time, this is Jordan. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.